Hello friends, last week we learned how auditory system works. Today we will focus on the sense of balance or equilibrioception. In our inner ear, besides cochlea, there are three semicircular canals and a vestibule which create the vestibular system. Let's first understand the anatomy of the vestibular system. Semicircular canals filled with endolymph end in an expanded structure called ampullae with sensory hair cells. All canals and ampullae open into the utricle. Secule or otolith organs, also called gravity receptors, are present just below the utricle and respond to the gravitational forces. Macula is a patch of sensory hair cells on each secula. Ampullae contain saddle-shaped ridge of tissue, crista. This is the structure of a cristae from ampullae having hair cells and a gelatinous structure, cupula. In maculae, a delicate autolithic membrane covered by calcium carbonate crystals or otoconia or ear rocks envelops the entire macular surface. The three semicircular canals respond to angular acceleration or rotational movements in three-dimensional space, each corresponding to a specific direction of head movement, whereas the changes in the position of the head with respect to gravity or linear acceleration are taken care by the utricle and secule in the vestibule. When we turn or rotate our head, the endolymph in the semicircular canals also moves with some lag which exerts pressure deflecting the cupula in the opposite direction. Similarly, maculae also get stimulated by shearing forces generated between the otolithic membrane and the cilia of the hair cells touching it. This stimulates the hair cell by bending their stereocilia in the opposite direction. Since hair cell kinocilium and the longest stereocilia extend far up into the cupula, they help in generating the response to the slightest flow of endolymph due to a change in pressure and even in waterborne vibrations. Neurotransmitter released by hair cells generates action potential and nerve conduction in the vestibular nerve fibers that are transmitted to the vestibular complex in the brainstem and to the vestibulo cerebellum. Hope you understood how our inner ear is capable of balancing and letting us walk without falling. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel to get more useful videos. Thank you.